you get money to launch a franchise, or maybe you already have a franchise and you want to get money to grow that franchise or even purchase other franchises? Well, that's exactly what we're going to dive into today. In today's training, you're going to see many different options you can get for franchises, including some exclusive sources that this is what they do is franchise funding, but a lot of people don't know about them. This is so important because if you want to start a franchise, if you want to expand a franchise, if you want to get started with franchises, there's a lot of ways you can get the money to do so. So I'm going to teach you today how to get franchise funding. I'm going to teach you how to get funding for franchises if you have credit issues. I'm going to teach you how to get funding for franchises if you're just buying an initial franchise or if you're expanding another one. And we're going to talk about how to get funding for franchises franchises and overcome a lot of the obstacles that have stood in your way if you've tried to do this before and you failed, or maybe you haven't even thought about getting into franchises because you didn't think you could get the money. We're going to decode all that today. And by the end of this training, you're going to have, I don't know, like eight, 10 different options plus uh, that will help you get money for a starting or growing a franchise. So let's talk a little bit about, about franchising in general, right? Franchises, if you don't know, are businesses that trade their name and operating methods into people in exchange for royal fee. They offer both the flexibility and independence of being a small business owner, plus the support and infrastructure of a large corporation. And they can be ideal opportunity for a lot of people getting started as an entrepreneur, but a lot of times they require significant capital investment. So, you know, first of all, a lot of franchises are very expensive. If you look at anything to do, and I really like the entrepreneurs now gone all in on franchises and promotes a lot of franchising, including the best ways and most profitable franchises you can get. But these things require a lot of money, guys. I mean, these are 25, 50,000 conservatively. And some of these require hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to actually get started. But franchising is a great way to go to start a business. So the, my favorite quote of all time comes from Warren Buffett. I'm reading his document or I'm watching his documentary right now on Amazon. It's phenomenal. And you know what he says is it's good to learn from your mistakes, but it's even better to learn from others' mistakes. And that's what franchising is. Franchising is when one company has figured out the model, right? So if you look at McDonald's and the history of McDonald's or where they are today, they figured out the model, right, for how to sell burgers and how to mass produce with a systematic process um, what they do. So it's easier for somebody to come in and start a franchise because you already know the marketing works. The marketing plans have already been tested. The process have already built. Everything that comes with building a scalable business is already done for you. All you have to do is take control and then actually grow that individual business. So it's way easier than starting a business from scratch where you don't have the processes. You don't know what marketing works. You don't know anything of what works with this. You're already taking advantage of something that works and then it becomes yours and it's easier to grow and scale. So you may be tempted to pour money uh, into your new franchise location. A lot of people do. A lot of people exit a business and then a lot of people use the money they get from selling a business or some other way they made the money to go into franchising. Okay. Or you may want to use your own credit cards to be able to fund it or take out a second mortgage on a home. All very popular options for people that are opening franchises, but you shouldn't have to do any of that stuff. There's a lot of financing out there specifically for the purpose of franchising that's available for you right now. So first of all, let's start with the source. If you're going to get money, you really want to start with the prospective franchise. Or a matter of fact, a lot of the people that promote franchises say right then and there on their website or in their publications, whether or not the actual franchising company provides financing like a lot of them do. So many corporations with franchise business models offer tailored financing solutions exclusively designed for their franchisees. So these can be either through partnerships with specific lenders or providing capital directly from the actual corporation. So some of these larger franchisers, what they'll do is they've already partnered with lenders. So let's look at Amazon, for example. This is not an example of franchising, but Amazon has exclusive partnerships with Bank of America for loans to their resellers, people that sell on Amazon through their Amazon stores. And they also have specialized financing from Marcus uh, for credit lines. It's specifically for Amazon resellers. So they worked with these lenders on exclusivity for creating products especially for their customers. A lot of franchising companies have done those same things. And a lot of franchising companies make so much money that they also then have their own financing opportunities for franchisees where they can charge interest. They can make a rate of return, right? So if you ever look at the history of McDonald's, you know, the big breakthrough was when they figured out they could buy the land and lease the land back to the franchisees and then be in the real estate business. And that's where the real money uh, came in with McDonald's franchises. It's the same thing here. A lot of franchise companies have figured out that the money that they can make is in directing, offering financing to their franchisees and then charging interest on that money. 
So it's one of the many common ways to finance a franchisees uh, and one of the many benefits you can get that you want to look into when you're getting set up with a potential new franchise. So for example, Gold's Gym, UPS Store, Meineke, uh, they all offer financing options to their franchise owners. And those are just some examples of the many franchises out there that do this. Okay, now, uh, one benefit of using franchiser financing is that it can be a one-stop shop for everything you need. Many of these programs don't just offer financing for the fr franchising fees, but they also offer financing for the purchase equipment, other resources you need uh, to set up the business. A lot of the money for a franchise comes with a build out of that franchise. So for example, a UPS store, the biggest cost with getting a UPS store off the ground is getting the location and building out the location, making that location look like a UPS store, right? Uh, one of my really good friends, actually my prom date for my junior high school prom, uh, this is what she does. She goes out and builds these franchises for some of the biggest companies uh, in this country. She goes out and from the ground builds the actual locations for them. And that's the biggest expense. I mean, it's millions and millions of dollars to have her company go out and build on that location. And if you're building an actual building, so think of it like this, maybe you're not going into a shopping center and putting a UPS store in an already existing building, but maybe you're building the Burger King. <laughs> Mention the cost of that to be able to get the land in an already high traffic commercial area, then to be able to build that entire store is many millions of dollars. And so that's where a lot of the costs come in. And that's where a lot of these franchising companies can help you. So if you're working with a franchisor who wants, who offers their own financing program, well, chances are you might not need to get much other kind of financing. They know exactly what their costs are to get a location off the ground, and they know exactly what the money is going to be used for, and they can then have those specialized financing opportunities already set up. So it's always the first place you want to stop. As a matter, start. As a matter of fact, you might choose the franchise that you want to get into based on whether or not they do or don't offer financing. Okay, so you know maybe uh, in this example, maybe we see that Gold's Gym offers, uh, you know, franchise funding, but maybe, uh, you know, orange fitness doesn't. And that's what pushes you down the direction of going to gold's gym versus orange theory, uh, where orange theory doesn't offer that kind of finance. I don't know if orange theory does or not. I'm just providing a, a an example. Chili, thanks for coming in. I appreciate you coming tuning in from Facebook. John, can I open multiple LLCs under one main LLC? You can't, you can offer many DBAs, under one LLC, but an LLC has to have its own entity set up. So you'd have to have an EIN and a separate LLC um, set up, but you could have DBAs under one LLC. We talked about that yesterday. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Angel, from coming in from Facebook. And does she have uh, an email address? You're asking from YouTube. So I'm not exactly sure who you're asking about, but if you clarify that question, I'll answer it. So each franchise or program offers will be a little bit different, but some offer to take on as much as 75% of the debt burden from a new franchise owner. Agreements might involve defer payments while the business is starting up, or they may structure a repayment on a sliding scale. And the reason for that is, is that as your business gets up and going and is generating revenue, then it's easier to make payments than when you're just getting started. So they take that into account. And how much financing they'll take on, you know, varies on many factors. For example, do you have experience with that franchise company? If you already own five Burger Kings, then chances are really good that they're going to be more willing to take on more of a debt burden when you open up your sixth because they see that you've already successfully opened and run five. So that percentage varies a lot, but a lot of it has to do with your experience in that space. If they feel really confident that you're going to be able to come in and open up and be successful in another franchise location, then they're more inclined to lend more money to you and a higher percentage of what you need, especially if you have a track history of franchises, and even more especially if your track history is with that individual franchise company. Okay, so again, you also need to understand the full terms before you sign up of what that per financing off provides. Now, what, what other kind of financing is out there? Well, you want to consider traditional term loans. So a lot of business owners, you know, you might want to consider going to your own bank and getting a term loan from them, an SBA loan. You might want to consider a credit union. You might also want to consider alternative lenders. Alternative lenders are kind of private lenders that offer uh, SBA fallout loans, I call them. I don't refer to them a lot, but SBA fallout loans are people that, you know, they don't just meet the criteria for SBA, but, you know, they're they're pretty close. Maybe they've got the credit and they've got the collateral, but they don't have the revenue. Or they have the revenue and they've got the credit, but they don't have the collateral. So they're kind of close. So traditional term loans are great because they're longer term loans, 15 to 30 year loans. You can get them from big banks. You can get them from alternative lenders. And because the term is so long, 
you're able to get large amounts of money and be able to keep your payments uh, fairly affordable. So these kind of loans are more likely to be available to business owners with good personal credit. Okay, lenders are also looking at financial history, uh, how you basically pay your bills on the personal and business side. A better financial history, of course, means more money and means better terms. Now, let's also not forget about SBA loans. These guys are offered from Bank of America, Chase, all the big conventional banks. And again, long-term low-rate financing. So you get financing with interest rates lower than 8%. You get financing term as long as 30 years. And if you're getting into a franchise, you, you kind of meet the same qualifications as SBA. Franchises are pretty tough to get into. If you don't have any physical cash, you don't have collateral, and you don't have good credit, you're not going to get into a franchise because there's no nothing you have that's showing a franchise company that you can succeed in that space. But if you're starting a franchise from the other side because you have good credit, you have some collateral, you have some assets, you exited the business, et cetera, you're in a better financial situation, you're probably going to qualify for an SBA loan anyways. So what I'm saying is people that are seriously considering franchises because they meet the requirements that a lot of these franchise companies have, those are perfect candidates for SBA loans because the same thing that SBA is looking for is exactly the same thing that franchise companies are looking for as well. Now, often alternative lenders, as I mentioned, offer less stringent requirements. So what you're going to find with SBA, and they have a lot of different kinds of loans as well. The term loans we talked about, but equipment financing, business lines of credit, um, you know, other kind of financing. So when you look at a franchise, for example, it's looking at McDonald's. A large part of the cost of starting a McDonald's is the real estate, the construction of the building, as we discussed. But it's all equipment, man. That whole kitchen is full of all of that equipment. It's the fryers, it's the refrigerators and the freezers and all of that stuff. That's a that's a hefty cost. So in a lot of cases, you know, equipment's very necessary with a lot of different kinds of franchises, and there's specialized equipment you can get for that. So if you're getting a financing for the equipment in there, man, that could be 15, 20, 25% of the overall cost to getting the franchise off the ground. And that's offered from all kinds of online and alternative lenders as well. Okay. But you got to think that, you know, again, this is a little bit more expensive money. If you go into SBA and conventional banks, you get longer term, lower rate financing. This is going to be shorter term. And it's going to be higher interest rate. So this might be more bridge financing until you can get longer term financing uh, and again, it doesn't happen at the most convenient time. You're just starting a franchise when you have the shortest terms and the higher interest rates. It makes it a little bit more difficult financially the first couple of years as you're getting that location off the ground and starting to make profits. But again, alternative lenders are way easier to get approved for this kind of money um, if other than what you're going to find with conventional banks. Now, you may need to supplement your existing financing with this kind of financing. Maybe you can't qualify for an SBA loan. Maybe you need cash quicker to take advantage of an opportunity than you can get from an SBA loan. So there's definitely places for alternative financing. It's easier, faster money. And there's always a place in business for easier and faster money uh, than business that isn't as easy to get or takes a lot longer for you to potentially be able to obtain. So let's talk a little bit about some sources that are specialized in this area. And Kyle says from Facebook, any loans that apply to small real estate estate businesses with five to 10,000 a month income without personal guarantor, you have to keep in mind, Kyle, every, a lot of people want money without a personal guarantee and you can get that. The question is, is how well established is your business credit? So when we think about personal guarantees, it's very simple. A guarantee is needed from you as an individual business owner because your business doesn't have enough credit to stand on its own. So yeah, that money is absolutely available. The question becomes how well established is your business credit? If you want to get five, ten thousand $10,000 without a personal guarantee, you can do that. But how many trade lines are on your business credit reports? How many how, much, how high are your credit scores? If your business credit reflects that you have enough history of paying your bills, you could definitely do that. But if you don't have enough established business credit to prove that you can do that, then you've got to start in the business credit building process to get away from those guarantees. And Tech on Wheels from YouTube says, also the franchisor needs to be on the SBI franchise director uh, prior to getting any funding for any franchise. And I appreciate you bringing that up, Tech on Wheels. So again, you know, SBA has a set process for helping at franchises, but they have specialized franchise fees or franchise funding. But as Tech on Wheels says, you have to be on one of the list of franchises that they'll actually fund. Matter of fact, a lot of these sources aren't that much different. Uh, when they just because they offer franchise funding doesn't mean they do it for everybody. There's some a lot of because there's a lot of franchises in this country, but they really tend to gate cater to more proven and established franchises that they know are going to be around for a while. So Apple by Capital works exclusively with franchise businesses to help them find the solution uh, that's right for them. They get financing for new units, refinancing, recapitalization. 
renovation, remodels, acquisitions, everything to do with franchising can be done through Apple Pi Capital. And you can also use equipment financing loans through them. And they also work the variety of different lenders. Uh, hence, the interest rates and terms you receive on franchise loans will definitely vary because they offer a lot of different funding sources. But think of it like this. They're like a super broker that does tons of funding but only in the niche space of franchises. So I love Apple Pi Capital because you can go to one place and access a bunch of different kind of financing specifically for the first of fran franchises uh, through them because they work with so many different lending sources and offer so many different kinds of products. Now, they specifically are dedicated to franchise funding, five to 10 year term loans, flexible collateral options if you don't have a lot of collateral, no prepayment options. So as the franchise takes off, if you want to pay the loan off early, you absolutely can. And you can learn more at applepiecapital.com uh, forward slash franchise dash financing. Now they're a big deal because I'm going to talk to you about other sources today that offer other kind of funding other than just franchise funding, but they also also offer specialized funding for franchises, but Apple Pie Capital, this is their niche. It's what they do. Now, another great source is Can Capital. They work with businesses in a variety of industries, including franchise businesses. And with Can, you can access short term loans, medium term loans. Terms for short term loans range from three to 24 months, so about two years, and two to four years for the medium term loans. And they also charge interest as a factor rate, a uh, very common with people that offer AR financing and uh, you know other things that are based on kind of factoring. To qualify for franchise loan with them, you'll need to meet these criteria, at least 4,500 revenue per month, a minimum credit score of 600, a 12 month uh, preferred, although they'll consider as much, little as three months time in business. And for their short term loan, uh, you qualifying for, or that's for the qualifying for the short term. For the medium term, uh, it's a little bit different. 680 FICO score, seven years in business, 350,000 in annual revenue. So they want you to be a little bit more established to get the longer term loans. So that's the way CAN works. You can get short term loans two years fairly easily. Bad credit, as you just saw, not a lot of time in business, not a lot of revenue. If you want the longer term loans, you need to be a better risk borrower, a higher credit score, longer term in business, uh, more revenue and more established. So depending on where you are, can have some options that work great for franchise companies uh, on deck as well. Okay. This is one of the easiest and quickest ways to get a short-term loan up to 250,000 line of credit up to hundred grand. Uh, and although in deck isn't specifically geared towards franchises, it's definitely a, a viable option. They all even offer loan terms up to five years and they have specialized funding for franchises. Foundations, yet another source. They have some of the lowest rates and fees you're going to find outside of a bank, especially with online sources. And they offer financing up to five hundred thousand dollars that you can get within a week's time. But again, it, you know the requirements are a little bit more stringent for the higher loan amounts. You'll need about a six hundred and sixty FICO score and good time in business, about a hundred thousand in annual revenue. And for loans above two hundred thousand. Uh, qualifications are going to get even a little bit stricter, but foundation offers great funding options specifically for the purpose of franchisees and franchisors. So it's easier to come in and be able to get up to half a million dollars with them. And again, uh, the better terms are going to come when you're more established. Now funding circle has numerous franchise partners across the U S Papa John's, uh, Pinkberry, Quiznos, et cetera. And Foundation offers various loan products through partnered lenders or franchises in a different stage of growth. And for Funding Circle standard term loans and lines of credit, you'll need to be a franchisee with a business that has that's at least two years and have a credit score of 660. So think of it like this. Funding Circle is one of many what are called peer-to-peer -peer lenders. And peer-to-peer -peer lenders are basically sources that um, offer money from private individuals. So peer-to-peer -peer lending has popped up and it, a, a, a funding circle is a platform. They're the platform in the middle and they link together borrowers, you looking to get money, and backers, people that are individual people that put in as little as $25 that want to then get a rate of return on the money. So let's say you want to invest in, in, in into something. You don't want to invest in a publicly owned businesses on the stock market. You could go to Funding Circle, invest your money, and get a rate of return investing into privately owned companies. Well, what better... <laughs> privately owned companies to get into, or even in this case, some publicly owned than franchises, right? Because franchises have a proven model that's so effective that they're popping up and selling hundreds, if not thousands of locations across the world. So this is very reliable way for individuals to invest their money and get a rate of return because it's not as much risk as a startup business, right? Franchises are, are very well established to a point where, like I said, uh, they're spreading about, you know, they're spreading all over the country, all over the world. So again, 
Uh, this makes perfect sense. And outside of Funding Circle, you also might want to look in to uh, lending or club, lending club. And you also might want to look into Prosper as well, because those are some good sources that also offer other kinds of peer to peer lending funding. Uh, funding, but again, uh, Funding Circle really specializes uh, in this area, so it's something to definitely consider. Now, they also offer merchant cash advances, short-term working capital loans, invoice factoring, uh, and again, you know, a lot of times they have higher interest rates. For example, an MCA, they might want you to, you know, be in business six months, have a score of only five hundred. But of course, if you're only business six months, your score was only 500, you're definitely going to pay a higher interest rate with that as well. And Chili says, good info on franchises. Thanks, Chili. I appreciate that. Thanks, for guys, for the comments and engagement. Thank you for liking and loving this and sharing this. If you're getting value, that's all I ever ask is hit the like button, hit the love button, hit the share button so we can get other people uh, that are interested in starting franchises or expanding their own to be able to know exactly how to get money to do so. So let's talk about smart biz. You can get an online SBA loan through them up to $5 million for commercial real estate purchases, loans up to 350000 for debt refinancing and business capital and bank term loans up to $500,000. So a lot of the things you need to get a franchise you can get right here. Don't forget that depending on the franchise, you know, look at a Meineke, it's a lot of money to build out that location. That's where your cost is. It's the commercial real estate financing. So Smart Biz focuses on that commercial real estate financing, but then they give you the actual term loans that you need to be able to get the other money that you may need in the business. So they can help you get the building and they can help you get money to do the build out the other things you may need. So this lender is only an option for established franchises. You'll need at least two years in business, positive cash flow and good personal credit to be able to get approved. But again, smartbizloans.com works great. So look, the reason these things make sense is that a lot of people that start one franchise open my mini. You know, you open a Krispy Kreme franchise, which I think I'm going to do, by the way, not now. But like in five years, I'm open Krispy Kreme because I love Krispy Kreme donuts and there's no Krispy Kremes around here. So I think I might be that guy that opens a Krispy Kreme franchise. So you're coming in and you open a Krispy Kreme franchise. When you're getting it off the ground, it's working successful. You go to open your second or third. This is where this kind of financing taps ties in perfectly because you've already proven that you've got time in business, cash flow, et cetera. You can tap into the success of one location to get the money through Smart Biz to even come in and open up multiple locations. Crowdfunding, if you have decent social media presence and a fairly large number of friends or followers, you might want to try crowdfunding. So you might want to go out to Kickstarter. You might want to go to Indiegogo. You might go uh, to a platform like that that's reward-based crowdfunding. And you may then want to lend, the, get raise the money from a crowd of individuals or backers that get some kind of reward uh, for actually participating. Sometimes the reward is that you give them products and services from that restaurant. You might give them free food, for example, for a period of time when they come in. Sometimes the rewards are other ways. But again, if you have a big social following, if you're a networker, well, then you might want to consider crowdfunding because it's a great way for you to create a project on a place like Kickstarter, then go out, get a bunch of people in your circle to back that campaign, get a bunch of people in your circle to promote the campaign. Kickstarter sees it's popular and they show it to a bunch more people. So crowdfunding can be a great way to go. Angel investing loans from friend and family as well. Okay, don't forget that. And most angel investing comes from what's called affiliated angels. It's people around you. But there's a lot of unaffiliated angels that can go as well that can actually give you the money that you need and get some kind of rate of return. You might be able to give up a percentage of equity in the business to actually come in and get the money you need. As a matter of fact, we talked about uh, rewards-based crowdfunding, but let's not forget about equity crowdfunding. Equity crowdfunding is when you're giving up some ownership interest in the business itself to get the money you need. It's still crowdfunding, but the crowd the crowd is our investors that are looking to basically invest into businesses and get a rate of return. So we've got equity crowdfunding and rewards crowdfunding and angel investing, whether that be affiliated angels or unaffiliated angels. Don't forget that a lot of unaffiliated angels, people you don't know that are going to give you money for the form of angel investing, they prefer to lend when affiliated angels are involved, people in your circle that have already contributed money. And again, this is the way it is with franchises, companies as well. They want to see you have a certain net worth. They want to see you have access to a certain amount of capital. A lot of them do. Almost all of them do. So by coming in and using these kind of, of tactics with angel investors, affiliated, unaffiliated angels, you could get some of the money you need to be able to get some of those franchise companies to even come in and kick in the difference. And then let's not forget about business credit. We are do a lot of business credit for individual franchises because, again, the better established your business credit is, the easier it is to get away from personal guarantees, Okay, as we were talking about with Kyle here, um, and to be able to access money for the business to grow. So we help with so many franchises. We're actually going to probably start our own podcast specifically for that niche 
because again, a lot of franchises are benefiting right now uh, using business credit to come in and get the things they actually need. Okay. Keep in mind, many franchises may require purchases directly from headquarters or suppliers specifically designated by them. And this can be anything from uniforms to beef to architectural plans. So you might not even have a choice of where you buy the things. You might have to buy it from the actual uh, main franchise company. But again, business credit can help with that as well. So to kind of do a recap, look, franchises need funding, and there's a lot of specialized funding you can get. You can get term loans. You can get alternative lenders loans. You can go to SBA and get specified SBA lending. As a matter of fact, as we were just talking about here, and uh, somebody had actually brought up already, uh, you know, Tech on Wheels brought up, is that SBA even has specified lists of companies that you can get money for if you're buying a franchise from that company. That's how much of this they do. You also want to consider angel investing, affiliated, unaffiliated angels. You want to look at crowdfunding, equity crowdfunding. You want to look um, as well as rewards-based crowdfunding. You also want to look at a lot of these sources. We talked about a lot today, um, including Apple Pie, that this is what they do is franchise funding. They work with a bunch of different funders that can help you, as well as other sources like Can Capital and Funding Circle that have specialized funding programs that can work really well uh, for franchises. And don't forget about building business credit. It's the key to getting even more capital easily uh, and being able to, as well as that, be able to get away from personal guarantees. So these are the best options I found to get funding for franchises. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to give us a ring, 877-600-2487. On a call with us, three things happen. We help you get your business credit reports for free. We go over those with you. We give you tips and tactics on helping to build business credit for your EIN that's not linked to your social to get away, as Kyle mentioned, from getting those personal guarantees. We also help you talk about fundability, all the things that make you more fundable. Okay, uh, John was asking, hey, can I get multiple LLCs under one? You can't. But if you have those kind of questions, then give us a ring. This is the kind of things we talk about when we talk about fundability and all the things you need to do to be fundable to be able to get the most money for your business. And we'll also qualify you for financing. We'll talk to you about all the financing you can qualify for right now. A lot of people can get loans to credit line, don't even know you can. So if you want more information on the kind of funding you can get right now, that all happens on that console call. If you got value from this, all I ever ask is hit the like button, hit the love button, hit the subscribe button. I can see that in real time. It means a lot that you would do that. Oh, one person was even mad. I don't know what I did to make somebody mad, but they were mad. They even gave me a mad emoji on Facebook. So again, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the likes. I appreciate the loves. I appreciate the engagement. It means, it means a lot uh, to me. And if you got value from this, like and subscribe. If you're on a channel like YouTube, you can click the bell beside uh, the actual subscribe button and select all to be notified when we go live Tuesday and Thursday at 1, 11 o'clock on Wednesday, we go live with training and we have hundreds of videos on YouTube. We have daily tips on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. So check out the top right of our page, creditsuite.com and listen to our podcast, the Business Credit Financing Show. It's 400,000 downloads. We go over topics like this, but the other half or other two thirds of our podcast is having experts come on that teach all these things. So we've had experts come on that teach about what you need to know to get franchises off the ground, what you need to do to scale and say, you know, exit a business successfully, what you need to do to start a home-based business, what you need to do to survive and really thrive with Facebook ads, with public relations and PR, all those people, the top in their industries come in and share their secrets of how to grow successful businesses. The only time we talk about that stuff and have these guests on is on that podcast. So make sure you check out the Business Credit Financing Show as well. And I look forward to talking to you next time about more cool ways to get money for your business. Thanks everybody.